Hey guys, this is Keith Avant, and this is going to be my first YouTube video, okay? And uh, bear with me, please. <laughs> but anyways, I uh, have been playing around with Blender, the uh, 3.0 alpha version of Blender, which has the amazing asset browser, okay? Now, this asset browser is going to be life-changing. I think, especially for kit bashers, man, they are just going to have a, a party, all right? But anyways, um, I want to show you something cool that I found out. And so watch the screen, and let's go ahead and get my mouse over here. All right. We're going to import an FBX file, right? And this is a, uh, a kit bash file that I have purchased off of ArtStation. And I'll supply a link down below, and you can uh, um, check out this guy's work. I don't have his name, and I do apologize. But uh, anyways, I want to show you this. So I'm going to select FBX, all right, film box format. And it's going to take me up here to... Uh, where my FBX files are in the directory right here. And let's just select a really cool uh, file here. We'll do five. And it's going to import these in. So I'll give it just a second here. And I'm on a, a crap setup right now. So if I have crappy sound, crappy video, uh, I'm just I'm messing with crap here. All right. So I'm not a pro. But let me go ahead, let me scale this up here so you can see these. All right. Uh, that's about a good size, about right there. All right. So as you can see, these are some like really killer pieces. And I mean, you ought to see all the stuff that they have. It is unbelievable. But anyways, what I want to do is I want to take all of these that I just imported and I want them to become uh, assets and the asset browser actually generate thumbnails, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, is I am going to select all of these models right here, all right? And as you can see, they're all selected, right? So now I'm gonna right click on, you can right click on any of them. We're gonna to go to ID data, all right, right here. And then we're gonna do mark asset. Marking asset is going to save it in the current file. All right, so let's go ahead and save it. And look at this. Look at these beauties. Oh my God, right? So as you can see, it has created multiple assets. And you will be able to use these in the future. And you'll be able to actually see, uh, I know that like a lot of times, Whenever I'm kit bashing, it takes me forever because I'm trying to find out what piece should go where, things like that. So this is going to be extremely helpful. It's going to be pretty much life changing, I think, for a kit basher. But this is just one little small feature that I wanted to show you guys. Um, you'll be able to save this and you'll be able to use it for the next time. And you could I've done, you know, uh, a file that had like 50 pieces in it. Um, you can also combine the pieces together, and join them, and it will save those joined together as one asset, which is unbelievably cool as well. So you can save a little time, right? But anyways, um, I know this is a quick little video, but, you know, I'm, I'm not a pro. And, you know, hopefully I can do some more of these videos for you guys if you like it. All right. Y'all take care.